recently has adopted the House's Health Committee report compelling KEMSA to distribute the remaining PPEs within 14 days. Earlier today, Senate's Health Committee had inspected the authority's warehouse in Nairobi's Embakasi. Joa Shonsare has the details. Members of Parliament approved the report by the House Health Committee directing the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, KEMSA, to release all the PPEs in their warehouses. The committee issued a 14 days ultimatum to the Health Ministry to review the status of the PPEs, which should be distributed in all public hospitals. That within 14 days of the House adopting this report, the Ministry of Health reviews the status of the personal protective equipment, PPEs, held by Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, KEMSA, with a view to distributing the same to all public hospitals. The Sabina Wanjiro-led committee has also recommended that no Kenyan should be charged with the cost of the PPEs while undergoing treatment. All public hospitals should not charge any Kenyan citizen admitted in their facilities Due to COVID-19, the cost of personal protective equipment used while undergoing treatment. Further, within seven days of the adoption of the report, the National Treasury and the Ministry of Health have been compelled to remit 500 million Kenya shillings to the National Health Fund, NHIF, for health workers' live medical cover. Within seven days of adoption of this report, the National Treasury and the Ministry of Health remits Kenya shillings 500 million to the National Hospital Insurance Fund, NHIF, as approved by the National Assembly in the Supplementary Appropriations Act No. 2 of 2020 for the provision of group life insurance cover by National Hospital Insurance Fund scheme that includes COVID-19 cover for all medical staff working in all counties and the National Referral Hospitals. Senate's Health Committee did a spot check at KEMSA warehouse in Embakasi on Tuesday and established that PPEs worth 2.9 billion shillings have not been sold. But for items for about which, co which cost was around 2.9 billion, uh, they have been told by ESCC to keep it aside, so they are not touching those ones until ESCC clears with them. Josh Onsare. TV 47, Nairobi.